Hello Sagis, how are you guys? This is your love reading from the 9th and to the 15th of September. I nearly said January, like really Deborah. Um, let us get started. We are going to be looking into your energy and your person's energy this week. I'm also looking deeper into why, what is going on, why you guys are carrying the energy that you are carrying and we're going to get spirit guide out at the end of the reading as well. Let me clear my charcoal blocky <laughs> and call in spirit guides and clear the area as well guys. So let's get started Sagittarius. Um, here and now I call our spirit guides. Here and now I call spirit of earth, air, fire and water. This is for you guys, whoever is watching. Into the smoke I release all energies that do not serve you, all negativity that surrounds you and all fears that limit you, bringing in light and love for all who watches this reading. So let us get started. If this is your reading, Saji, you will know from like basically the first cards that I take out. Um, if it is your message, you're going to know that's my message. If it isn't, please check back next week. It is normal that it happens. Um, if it is, hit the thumbs up button so that I know. Hello. <laughs> um, what else? Um, um, there's an extender to the reading as well. If you want to check out the extender, there's a link below in the description box below. Um, it'll take you to the place where you get the extended. Um, we're going to be looking into your person's feelings into the next three months. So we're going to be looking at the first month, second month, third month from the time you watch this reading. What's up with their vibes? How are they feeling towards you? What is going on with them? So right now, let us get started. We're also going to get our spirit guide, your spirit guide actually, your spirit guide's message out at the end of the reading. They're going to give you some advice with regards to what you should be focusing on, what you should be looking at. Um, in this connection. So let's have a look at Saji. What is going on in this connection? Let's have a look and see. Let's have a look and see. One card out for you. We're going to get two cards out for each of you. Okay, there we go. Two for you and say, set for your person. We've already got the cards as well. Like I said, just stop. Don't shuffle. Okay, so let's do this. Let's see what's going on with you and see what's going on with your person as well. Let us have a look and have a vibe of what's potting, Saji. Is it a good week? Is it a good week? Look at that. No, this is pretty good. You're looking good, Sagittarius. I felt something positive. As I was saying, is it good? Is it good? You feeling yourself? Look at that. Queen of Air energy. Very strong. Seeing things, um, I'm not gonna, um, I, I can't just read every time I see because otherwise I miss what I'm feeling. Um, being very strong, seeing things differently for the first time and taking action in a different way than you have done before. Wow. Okay, look what now we're gonna read. Um, independent experience, you see, independent, experienced, realistic and witty, okay? Objective decision making. I feel like you're making a decision about somebody in your life. This is a like you're looking into this glass ball and there is an image of somebody standing there. Okay, that is a man, this is a woman. It can be the other way around as well. You're thinking about a person and you're making a decision about them. And it, I like what it says underneath there because this is so, this is Queen of Swords energy. Listen to what it says. Clearing away all that no longer serves you. Uh -huh. and seeing the humor in the situation when it says seeing the humor it's more like understanding how things unfold and not taking it so to heart and kind of like releasing energy as well this is what i like this it's like you're looking into that glass ball you know and um you're seeing the light shining because you've got a beautiful archangel uriel that is coming up here it is the sun card guys this is amazing this is happy outcome Brilliant new ideas that lead to success. Have confidence in yourself. If there is one court card that's got confidence, it's the Queen of Air. Ooh, the Queen of Air can stand up male or female energy for themselves in any situation. Um, I feel like you're looking into this glass ball. I feel like you're looking at your future. And it's almost like you're going in this glass ball. I see my own happiness unfolding and I'm going to do whatever it takes to get that. Very determined vibe coming from you. Saggy, I like that. Let's have a look what's up with your person. Wow. Gee whiz, two major arcanas. You know we got three major arcanas and I've only drawn four cards out. 
um, your energy is what's leading a lot of what I'm looking at here. Because the Queen of Swords is a leader energy. I feel like you're leading a relationship. You're leading somebody um, to where or a situation to where you want it to be. Um, you've got your person being very contemplative, okay? They've got the High Priestess energy coming up. They've got the Balance card, which is the Hierophant energy as well, which, by the way, is your card. The 14 is the Balance. It's Archangel Zadkiel's energy. And I told you, um, with the Queen of Air being there, even though you're a Queen of Fire energy, um, it's about your attitude right now. I feel like you are more in control of the relationship than what you were before and it's almost like your energy is leading where this goes your person for some reason i feel like they kind of like released energy and they are allowing you to kind of like lead the way kind of vibe coming through here i want to read they also unsure because of this balance card coming out but let me just read what it says They've got two major archangels in their energy. So this means they they are facing quite a major uh, crossroads. It's like a feeling of crossroads in this card. Um, because even you have got a decision to make. It says, Hi, High Priestess, Archangel Haniel's energy. Listen to your intuition. Have patience. Consider carefully what you want before acting. So there is some wisdom coming up in their energy. There is also an energy of holding back because of the Hierophant energy. But I feel like it's got to do with... I feel like you are in control of a situation. You are the one who is making a decision. This is Archangels that kill. The need for balance and moderation, cooperation and compromise, waiting for perfect timing. So yeah, it's all kind of like hold back energy on your person's side listening to intuition you know this is the same kind of feeling having patience you see this talks about waiting waiting for perfect timing so they yeah consider carefully what you want before acting honestly i feel like both of you might be in a decision time this can be a situation where um you guys have been in a relationship and both of you are could have faced some problems and you're both kind of sitting back here going um what do we do now what do we do now? They are also in the process of a decision. But I feel like you are standing much more stronger. It's almost like you might be voicing what it is you want to have, what it is, you, what kind of life you want to have, the happiness that you want to have. They have given you three cards already, just like that. Didn't even get a chance to shuffle. So let's have a look and see. Yes. When you look into that glass ball, the sun card, it is the world. Okay, um, the world is your goals, it is your dreams, it is what you want to see in your life. The world, we each have, when we, when we bring up a world card in a reading, everybody's world is different. Everybody's goals and vision of what they would like to have in their life is different. You, It's like you envisioning your future here and you can see it, it's, it can come and this is what you want and what you're aiming for. I feel a lot of this energy coming through here is it's happiness guys, you really want to be happy. It's, it's interesting, I feel like I've got a couple here that is making a decision about their relationship, you know. This person is being very held back, okay. I just want to tell you, your energy is very like actionified, moving, taking action kind of vibe, you know, taking steps towards your happiness. Okay, you got, yeah, you're asking a lot of questions as well. This person's energy has been very reserved. Um, there's, there's a little bit of a feeling of a warning here coming from the energy, but I'm going to draw more cards out to feel what, what is that warning. There's like a, a sleeping giant energy here. Be careful if it wakes up. Okay, I'm just saying. You are in this Knight of Wands energy there. Yeah, you got Ten of Wands. You really want to end the cycle. Yeah, you are done with anything that does not serve you. Totally done, Sagittarius. You are totally done. You are asking the questions about life. The The Knight of Wands energy in the reverse position, That is that is a little bit like, it's very quick moving energy. So is the Queen of Swords energy the queen of air it's also very quick moving energy you're done with anything that no longer serves you you got a ten of wands in the reverse position this is restriction being held back 
not being able to be truly who you want to be. And this energy is an ending of a cycle because it is a 10. It is a 10. You've got the world card coming up. You've got the sun card coming up. You'll do whatever it takes to be happy. And there's absolutely, let me tell you, nothing wrong with that. With the Knight of Wands, it's like you're asking the big questions. What is my truth? What is my purpose here? Why am I in this relationship? Am I happy? Um, is this who I want to be in my life? These are very big questions. You know, um, it's very quick moving. I think like even in this card here, I think I read somewhere, um, you need balance, moderation, cooperation, waiting for rough timing. I read something, a lot is happening all at one time. I picked it up somewhere. I don't know where, if it's in your guys reading somewhere, but there's a lot of things happening okay letting go know what no longer serves you why did i even pick that up i'm just picking up there's a lot of stuff happening i don't know where i got it from but i'm picking up there's a lot of things happening especially with this knight of wands energy knight of wands can be a little bit crazy out of control vibes you fighting and you going towards what you believe is your happiness whatever's in this card this person I don't think, honestly, I don't, I'm going to get more cards out, but I'm feeling like they don't share the 100% um, truth to you. Hmm. It's like they don't really speak their heart and mind 100%. They're holding back in some kind of way. Um, yeah, they're holding back. They're with you on this journey. They're kind of watching what you're doing, but I feel like this, they're holding back. There's unspoken words from this person. That's how I feel. Um, yeah, they also manifesting, hey? They doing, I feel like this is what you were doing in this card. That's the magician reverse energy. But they're not playing. They're manifesting something very serious in their life. What is it though? What is it? Are they manifesting a life with you? Let's have a look and see. <sighs> I'm not sure, guys. It's a little bit, a little bit off in the reading because you've got a... Queen of Cups in the reverse position. This actually shows that they're actually holding love a little bit back. They do have a page of one's energy that's coming through. And um, I don't know. I've got a little bit of off vibe on the side here. I can't shake it. I'm trying to shake it. But I, I'm not supposed to shake it. Because that's what the vibe is about. Um, what are they manifesting though? One thing I can tell you is that they are holding their love back from you a little bit. You can see it in all of this. Way to perfect timing. Um, the Hierophant talks about one foot in, one foot out of a situation. Um, listening to the intuition, considering before they, they act. Um, they are busy manifesting something. you got a page of wands energy here. Page of wands is the beginning of something. It is also communication via phone, talking to somebody via phone. I'm kind of like leaving you guys hanging there. Um, I don't know really how what spirit guides. I do know what they're saying. I just don't know how to put it in the reading. It's kind of weird. Um, you got to be very careful that your person is not paying somebody else attention. Okay, especially with the phone. If you look at them on the phone and you're like going, you're always on that phone. Every time I come online, you're online. Something's not right here. They're manifesting something, but it may not be with you guys. I don't know. It doesn't usually come out in the reading. I have to ask Spirit Guide. You better give us some advice here. My goodness gracious. Um, if this is you, if this is for you guys, then there is an off vibe here. It's almost like your person's planning something without your knowledge. <sighs> That's what I'm just feeling. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> all right, spirit guides. It, this is all they're giving me. It's like, usually they don't get so cryptic in a reading. Um, but I feel like your person's holding back information from you. Okay, I felt it a little bit earlier as well. It's coming through again because what I'm seeing here would be for you. There's a magician, page of wands. I want to start with you. But you guys are already in a connection. So it cannot be a page. It needs to be a knight, all right? And then on top of it, they're holding back their love from you. So who are they starting with? Hmm. Boom. I'm just saying. Let's have a look and see. Yeah, they're holding back their love. You got another. It's coming up again. Spirit guide's message to you is that this person is not giving you 
the love that you deserve to have. I mean, what makes you in this situation where you need to make a decision about your life, where you want happiness? It's because you don't have that happiness right now. And there comes out that card, the Nine of Wands energy. Uh, you got a Nine of Wands now, you got a Ten of Wands energy. That is the Wounded Warrior card of the Tarot deck. That is talking about all the things that have happened in the past in this connection. All the, the hurts and the pain that has happened. Um, it's also worrying about the future as well. Worrying about a person all the time. What are they doing? Where are, they, where are we going? What is going to happen? Um, yeah, there's a feeling here yeah, of an ending of a cycle sort of coming in. What I can tell you is I feel from your energy, because you, I don't know if, it's, if you're happy here, you're asking so many questions with a nine of this Knight of Pentacles, you're asking so many questions about your life, your existence. This person is holding back a lot of energy. They're also being very defensive. I feel that even the Knight of Wands is attached to their energy as well and yours. And um, it's almost like they put up a wall. You see this, 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 the Wands itself is like a wall that they've built around themselves, and you can't get to this person. It's like you cannot connect with them anymore and it leaves you wanting and really examining deeper your own life and your own existence and wondering is this what I want to have is this what I want to have I don't feel like the queen of a wants to receive two queen of cups in the reverse position from somebody at all I feel like that's these are the questions that you're asking you wish to release all these things from the past and just move into a new happy time a happy place for yourself a new beginning kind of energy but the thing is I don't feel like um, I feel like you kind of connected soul to this person and it's almost like it can go forward with them but you would also walk away from them as well just to find your happiness. Wow, Saji. It's going to be very interesting. I almost feel like this reading is like a stalemate energy. It's like things are just sort of like paused. You know, everything's sort of like in waiting mode. Let's see how things unfold. But we're going to see into the next three months what's... I think it also determines what this person does in the next three months. Because I didn't like this energy here. You know what I was talking about. If you're feeling this 100% over there, you heard me say I felt like they might be talking to somebody else on the phone a lot. They might be focusing on something else and it's not you. Okay. And um, if that is the vibe that I'm picking up here, I don't know. I don't know, Saji. I think you might be picking it up as well. You feel that this person's not giving you the love. So then where is the love going? I'm just saying. There we are, Saji. If you want to check into the next three months energy of this person, see how things start to unfold here. You can check out the link is in the description box below. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.